Okay, welcome everybody. It's uh, Tony Gee Parker, also known as Tony the Tapper, and I want to welcome you to our Sunday night uh, EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques and Law of Attraction Workshop for Manifesting Happiness, Abundance, Prosperity, Business, and Personal Success. And uh, what we're going to do as people trickle in is our various EFT warm-up taps because I, I believe that we should be doing more tapping and less talking. <laughs> yeah. So let's start off with the first uh, EFT uh, uh, tapping routine, which I call the Protective Shield of Golden Light, which is based on a thousands of years old uh, Tibetan mantra. And it's all about protecting you from negative energy, toxic energy. Uh, this could be a bad workplace, you know, a hostile environment in the workplace, or perhaps even, you know, just a bad, you know. Do you remember, uh, what was the name of that, uh, Ghostbusters? And Dan Aykroyd got slimed. Well, this will protect you from getting slimed, okay? Do you remember that movie where he, got, <laughs> he had the green slime? This will protect you from the green slime. All right, so uh, let's, again, EFT is a very simple, very powerful form of energy healing. And again, it's been uh, around the, uh, you know, for thousands of years. It's been in this country about uh, 30 years or so. It kind of got imported and then rebranded. Uh, and, you know, basically we call it EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques. And basically it's like acupuncture without needles. We just tap on different acupuncture points, okay, uh, while saying various affirmations. And basically just tap on the different acupuncture points 7 to 20 times, okay, whatever, continuously, whatever feels good, while repeating uh, the affirmation. So basically just tap where I tap and just repeat what I say. So now we're going to start the protective shield of golden light. And again, it's very easy. Just start tapping the top of the head and just repeat, say, uh, energy system. Energy system. Okay, eyebrow. I'm instructing you. I'm instructing you. Side of the eye to generate a protective shield of golden light. Protective shield of golden light. Okay, under the eye, all around my body. Under the nose, protecting me from all negative energies. Protecting me from all negative energies. Under the mouth, all negative influences. All negative influences. Collarbone, all negative uh, intentions. All negative intentions. Very good. Under the arm, all negative entities and beings. All negative entities and beings. Karate chop now, sending them all to the sun. In the art of the sun. To be transmuted to love. To transmute into love. Very good. Top of the head. Only allowing in. Only allowing in. Eyebrow loving. Loving. Side of the eye healing. Healing. Under the eye positive. Positive. Under the nose energies. Under the mouth and intentions. Intentions. Very good. Collarbone. And if I have any negative energies or intentions, okay, on the arm, I send them all to the sun. I send them to the Karate chat to be transmuted to love. Okay, now take a deep breath and I'll release. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And that's, like I said, uh, uh, in my experience, the protective shield of golden light lasts for four to six hours. So if you're in a work environment situation, I would do the protective shield of golden light before going into work and then do it again around lunch break, okay, to take you through the afternoon. Um, again, if you are in an environment that isn't working for you, uh, you know, you can keep doing the tapping, but eventually it's time to vote with your feet. <laughs> and move on. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, that's just, you know, at a certain point, it's time to move on, you know, if it's not working out for you. Next tap is the Ho'oponopono tap. And again, it's great for any kind of problem 
relationship. Now this can be a business relationship. If there's a coworker or a supervisor or a boss and it's just the energy's weird, this is an excellent tap for it. It's also great for love relationships, intimate relationships, okay? And again, uh, you know, it, it's a it's a temporary thing. You need to do it regularly. Uh, but again, if, if the relationship continues to be negative or toxic or difficult, you know, vote with your feet. Okay? All right. So let's just start tapping. This is based on a hundreds of years old, thousands of years old Hawaiian mantra that the Hawaiian shamans and kahunas used to practice. Okay? And again, there's a lot of discussion on the Internet. It's a great exercise, very simple. And Simon says, okay, we just tap where I tap and then just repeat what I say. All right, so let's say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, eyebrow, please forgive me. Please forgive. Sorry, yeah, I forgive you. I forgive you. Under the, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, I love you. Collarbone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Under the arm, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Karate chop, I forgive you. I forgive you. Top of the head, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, I love you. I love you. Under the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Under the nose, please forgive me. Please forgive me. On the mouth, I forgive you. I forgive you. Collarbone, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, I love you. I love you. Very good. Take a deep breath. And I'll release. Very cool. I just want to check in with anybody. There you go. Excellent. Just want to check in with anybody else on uh, Facebook. If you're around, uh, guys on Facebook, uh, please join us in the uh, Zoom room if you'd like it. Uh, uh, the more the merrier. Also, if you do have questions or something, you need to come into the Zoom room. And again, it's very simple. Uh, just click on the Zoom link, okay? Uh, and uh, it's right there. It's uh, put it in the comment section underneath the broadcast uh, live broadcast window on Facebook. So that's pretty easy. So all you have to do is tap there. All right, I've just put it in there. So there you go. Okay. Uh, uh, we're now going to move along to the gratitude tap, and uh, we're going to do a specific version of the gratitude tap. Either abundance or for anybody who's job hunting. If you're job hunting, what you want to do is make a list of your past jobs. Okay? Uh, you know, past jobs, uh, you know, make five or three or four or five, whatever, of your past jobs. If you're, uh, you know, in, if you're, wor if you're uh, in business, Okay, or if you have a business and you have customers, or if you have a practice and you have patients and clients, uh, you would make a list of your clients. You say, there's a list of my clients, okay? Uh, and then you tap on them in a very simple way. Also, you can make a general list of abundance. This could be family and friends, uh, past employers, government agencies, anybody who's given you or paid you money. But uh, if, if you're job hunting, I would definitely recommend make a list of three, four, five of your past jobs, okay? And then we'll tap on it in a very simple way. So, Shayla, if you want to use initials or, you know, uh, to keep, the, uh, keep it anonymous, okay, if you have an initial for a past job. Okay. Because you're job hunting. Just say it out loud. Just say the, the first initial. H. Okay. All right. Again, we're going to start tapping on the top of the head 7 to 20 times. And now we're going to say those two magic words that completely activates law of attraction. All right. And some people can never say these two words, but it's incredibly powerful. Say thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath. 
Hit our release. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so I've, I've got a list of my, my, my clients right here, and I'm just going to take one off the top of the list here. I've got uh, uh, KQ, all right, top of the head, and I'm just going to say those two magic words. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Hi there, welcome. Under the mouth, thank you. Hello. Hi there. Uh, just hang in there. Under the arm, th uh, collarbone, thank you. Okay, under the arm, thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Excellent. Take a deep breath and now release. Okay, very good. All right, guys, that's the gratitude tap. We're now moving along to the... Uh, uh, the dollar, the money thermostat, okay, and the way that works is if you're working alone or with a tapping buddy or a coach, what you want to do is uh, uh, make a statement like, even though I made, for instance, this is for example, I made $500 last week, I choose to make $1,000 this week, and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. The whole purpose of this is to raise up that money thermostat. That What they found is that uh, a level of income, level of abundance is often uh, behaves, there's a, like a set point. We become conditioned to accept a certain level of abundance as our default, uh, very much like there's a default body weight. Very often we have a set point with our body weight. And it takes a certain amount of work to change that. Okay. Well, the same with our income. So if you're working on your own, you would you you know you would work with the real numbers. When we're working as a group, okay, uh, what we do is uh, uh, it's a slightly different uh, tapping routine, but it's still just as powerful. And again, just tap where I tap and repeat what I say. Even though I made what I made last month, Hi there. This is... you need to mute your Facebook, okay? So even though I made what I made last month, even though I what I made last month, I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. I choose to make twice this month that I made last month. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and forgive myself. Excellent. So even though I made what I made last month, even though I made what I made last month, I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention to make twice what I made last month this month. To make twice I made this month than last month. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and forgive myself. Okay, excellent. So even though I made what I made last month. Even though I made what I made last month. I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention. To make twice what I made last month this month. To make twice. What I made last month. What I made last, what I made last month this month. Last month, and and to make twice this month. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and forgive myself. Okay. All right. And now let's go top of the head. I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. I choose to make twice this month what I made last month. Eyebrow, I deserve to make twice what I made last month this month. I deserve to make twice this month that I made last month. Sylvia, I give myself permission to make twice what I made last month this month. I give myself permission to make twice that I made last month this month. Under the eye, I am willing to make twice what I made last month this month. I am willing to make twice this month is what I made last month. Under the nose, it's safe for me to make twice what I made last month this month. It's safe for me to make twice Hi, Karen. Welcome. Thanks. 
under the mouth. I have the power to make twice what I made last month this month. I have the power, have the power to make twice this month that I made last month. Collarbone, I like the way it, f it feels when I make twice what I made last month this month. I like the way it feels when I make twice what I made last month. Okay, under the arm. It's easy for me to make twice what I made last month this month. It's easy it's for easy me to make twice this month of what I made last month. Very good. Karate chop. So even though I made what I made last month. Even, Even though, though I made what I made last month. Okay. Uh, today I set a firm intention. Today I set a firm intention. To make twice what I made last month this month. To make twice this month that I made last month. Okay. Very good. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply, I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love and forgive myself. Very good. Excellent. Let's all take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, gang. So that's our little warm-up series. Okay. And now it's check-in time where you guys can check in, share your synchronicities, your challenges, your victories. Uh, and I, like I say, kvetch or kvel. Uh, so, again, if you want to if, if, if kvetch and complain and moan, Go ahead if you want to cavell and brag and sing it from the treetops. Or if you've got some questions about tapping or a law of attraction or the secret, or if you have a specific challenge, uh, I'm here to help you. And we can also come up with a specific tap, an EFT law of attraction tapping routine that might help you. Now, I'm just going to make a couple of suggestions before we open it up. Uh, two very important, uh, very useful tools or books that are incredibly cheap. I have no financial interest except that I've known the guy for 35 years, okay? This is a great book, Earn What You Deserve, by a guy called Gerald Mundus. It was on the New York Times bestsellers list a million years ago. The reason I'm, off, I'm suggesting these two books is you can get them as remainder copies for like three bucks. These were, you know, as usual, like most books, they're like 20 bucks, 30 bucks new. But they've been around since the 90s, okay? Now, this is a book about how to get out of credit card debt, consumer debt, and it's Tony a very good Carl book. Tony. Somebody needs to turn off their Facebook. All right, and that's Gerald Mundus there, okay? Like I said, he's been around for a million years. And again, you can get these on Amazon for like 2 or $3, either a hard copy or... Uh, or uh, paperback for pennies. The postage costs more. Okay. Now, uh, uh, the reason I like his, I totally agree with his philosophy. He makes some very, very astute observations and recommendations about dealing with abundance, money, etc. Uh, and those are two great books. So if you have consumer debt and it's kind of, you know, overwhelming you, the the his first book. How to Get Out of Debt, Stay Out of Debt, Live Prosperly. It's a great book. Then if you have a business or a practice and you want to set it up from scratch, again, and, on, and you want to earn what you deserve, as it were, that's a great book. He has some great things. The other thing, a tool that I suggest, and uh, frankly, I, I may make a PDF file, is but again, it's probably easier for you just to go buy a two dollar spiral notebook. But I may make a kind of little ebook that you can print out and then just kind of make your own little workbook. You need to have a daily journal or a little workbook if you really want to start increasing your income. You really want to have something to work from because if it stays up here, okay, it's not going to happen. All right, I'm just going to tell I'm going to say point blank, if it stays spinning around in your head, if you don't write it down, it's just going to stay a daydream or an obsession, you know. Uh, the secret to all of this stuff is writing it down, and obviously you want to keep it in some kind of cohesive, organized system, or like I said, getting a $2 student spiral notebook is probably the best investment you can make in terms of getting your yourself organized, because what you're going to do is divide up that spiral notebook in a variety of sections, okay? And I'll just go through the sections with you. One, will be a list of your gratitude list. This will be your general gratitude list, which you will tap on on a daily basis. The next section will be 
uh, kind of your money gratitude list. This will be past sources of income, past and current sources of income. This can be, uh, again, uh, past jobs, past employers, current employers. Okay, this can be government agencies, anybody who's contributed to your abundance, family and friends. That's another list. Next section will be uh, what I call your uh, goals or visions. Okay, and uh, these are the these are the things you want to achieve in your life. Okay, and that's you want to write them down because if you don't write them down, they just stay a daydream or a fantasy. Once you start to write them down, once you start to describe them and, you know, put in the details and make up an action plan, a plan of action or a to-do list, then you start, things start to move forward. And that's very important. So, again, one section will be your visions or your goals. Another section, which will be the EFT part, mostly about tapping, which will be what I call the Monster Hall of Fame, or, or those of us who used to be, you know, kind of EFTers, we used to call it the personal peace procedure. And since we're talking about money, you want to make a list of all the negative disappointments, problems, financial traumas that you've ever experienced. In other words, any negative experience that you've had around money you want to make a list of it because we're going to have to tap on it. You're going to have to tap on it uh, in order to neutralize any what I would call financial trauma or financial upset. Because if you have some negative feelings around money or financial situations, if you've been cheated or betrayed or you know you, you got fired or you suffered some kind of pain, uh, it's going to affect your relationship with uh, abundance and money. So that's why it's very important to make start making that list. This is probably the hardest part of the work, okay? But it's going to be the most fruitful because as you work through this, you're going to start seeing yourself uh, becoming more effective in your work, more effective at getting better jobs, more effective at making more money, uh, realizing your visions and your goals. So it is worth the work. It's the hardest part of this work, and it probably takes the longest amount of time, but it absolutely yields the best results. Another section will be m the misbeliefs. What I mean by misbeliefs are the kind of uh things we were told either by our family of origin or religion or neighborhood or social group okay uh that are kind of not true and they kind of get in the way of making uh, us achieving abundance now a classic one that occurs in a lot of christian churches is the uh business of money is the root of all evil well, actually, it's a misquote because the, the actual statement in the Bible is, uh, in the New Testament, is the worship of money is the root of all evil. Okay, uh, Money in itself is just a, a thing. It's an object. It's neither good nor evil. But it's what we do in order to make money and also how we spend our money that has the moral or spiritual implications. But again, uh, we absorb a lot of weird misbeliefs around money and that's that's also gets in the way of our achieving success and abundance so there you go that's why you want your little notebook and you want to keep that with you and that's how, how you're also going to look record your success all right i babbled on long enough <laughs> but i just wanted to get that out of the way that's our little tool chest that's the system here uh i do have an ebook which i'll make available uh, and frankly, it'll just be me giving you the written instructions to go get a spiral notebook and make columns and make lists. But maybe that might be helpful for everybody. Okay, so now it's time to check in. Again, uh, synchronicities, challenges, victories, Kvetch or Cavell. And again, any questions about abundance and success or EFT? Who'd like to check in, please? Go ahead. How can I help you tonight? Hello. Yes. Can you hear me, Tony? Yes. I need to increase my income. Okay. Well, that's a that's did 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 you understand what I said just previously? Yes, sir. Okay. So, get yourself an inexpensive $2 student notebook, okay? 
and uh, I, like I said, you're going to start filling out your goals. And also, you want to attend. Uh, we I make it very easy. Uh, we have this uh, uh, weekly workshop, okay? Uh, the Sunday night workshop where we get into the details. And then we have uh, Monday through Saturday, we have a brunch club uh, at 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern Standard Time. And you tap on the various uh, Law of Attraction and EFT taps for manifesting abundance. But the first tool you want to get is the uh, is the spiral notebook, okay? A student spiral notebook. Shouldn't cost you more than $2, okay? And if you can afford it, get those two books that I mentioned. I, oh, yes, you're on the phone, so you couldn't see it. But there's two, de uh, two books that I strongly recommend because they're really cheap. Earn What You Deserve by Gerald Mundus. Okay, that's J-E-R-R-O-L-D-M-U-N-D-I-S. You can get that on Amazon. It's called Earn What You Deserve. Now, if you have credit card debt or consumer debt that's overwhelming you, his first book, which was How to Get Out of Debt, Stay Out of Debt, and Live Prosperously. Again, these books you can get a paperback or hard copy, and if you go if you go to Amazon, you click on where it says used. Uh, and basically, these are either library copies or remainder copies. In other words, they've been sitting on a bookshelf at the back of a bookstore for several years, and the postage costs more than the book. Okay, and these are two excellent books on how uh, reference books on how to either start a business increase your income or get out from under serious, you know, manage your debt, manage your uh, consumer debt if you have a lot of credit card debt. Uh, so that's the, those are, those are my two best comments. Get a spiral notebook and then get these two books and then just show up every week, uh, Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard and show up every morning, Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard. That's a, I couldn't make it any simpler than that, okay? Understood. Thank you. All right. Like I said, you asked a big question, but I've given you the simplest, most direct answer I could. All righty. Uh, anybody else want to check in? Uh, uh, say hi, synchronicities, challenges. Kvetch or Kvel. Go ahead, please. Anybody have a question? Or with, is there something they'd like to tap on? Does anybody have anything, that, a goal that they'd like to achieve and they need help on? A vision or a goal? Not right now, just general abundance. Just general uh, uh, keeping my head in a positive place. Well, again, the tapping is the best thing I can think of. You know, I mean, yeah. I, I would also suggest, and again, I don't have a, I could probably publish the link uh, somewhere. Uh, I would say doing the tapping on a regular basis. I mean, I, now I have recordings. I have YouTubes and uh, I have YouTubes on my website. I also have uh, recordings on my various Facebook pages. So if you guys are buddies of mine on Facebook or if you're connected to me via email, I have various recordings of a you know a, a fifteen twenty minute tapping routine taking you through all the uh, you know various. So if you can't make our br brunch club, uh, you know you just tap along with the recording. Uh, that's the Protective Shield of Golden Light, Ho'oponopono, uh, Gratitude Tap, uh, the Money Thermostat, and then the Vision Tap, and then the Abundance Tap. That's twenty minutes. You do that tapping every day. You're going to start seeing some changes in in your financial attitudes and behaviors. Okay, uh, now if there are deeper challenges, okay, and this is why I was saying that why it's important to have a notebook, a workbook, or a journal, or like a diary, where you you kind of keep a record of what you're doing. Uh, there's two areas where you need to write stuff down, which is your goals and your visions. And a goal or a vision could be anything. Say you're looking for a job, 
right? Well, you want to write down uh, the kind of job you want, the kind of income you want to make, okay? Uh, the location of the job. Now, anything specific, uh, you know, is there a trade or a craft or a discipline or an area that you want to work in? Is it manufacturing? Is it retail? Is it uh, health care? Is it consulting? I mean, you know, you describe your perfect job. Uh, also, you want to include, uh, you know, the uh, the kind of moral, ethical, spiritual values and mission statement of the kind of atmosphere you want to work in. All right. And that becomes your vision or your goal, because this is how you're going to recognize uh, your perfect job when you show up at the interview, you know, because just sort of you see, here's the problem. If you just say, well, they want me in the check clears, you know, well, that could be anything, you know what I mean? And that could be a job that doesn't really suit you or it's not a match or it could be a very toxic or abusive or crazy environment, you know. So that's why it's important to, I mean, getting a job is kind of like dating, you know. Uh, you don't kiss on the first date, and if you don't like the guy, right, you just say thank you, goodbye, I'll call you, don't you call me, right, ladies? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, just because, you know, again, it's just like you don't date a guy just because he's breathing and he's good looking. You want to know more about it, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing with a job. Just because they, they got money and they, they say they want you. It could be a horrible job, terrible work conditions, crazy, mismanaged, incompetent, you know, incompetent, abusive management, toxic people in the workplace. I mean, it could be a horror show, you know. So you want to make sure you kind of, again, that's why you want to write this stuff down and have a really clear idea of what you want. And this is really the, the the whole thing about the law of attraction. It's about having that intentionality, having that intention, not being a victim. You know, saying, I want a job, but I want a job that, uh, you know, fits my criteria. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's what's important, why to write this stuff down, to be clear what you want, okay? Uh, otherwise, you're just going to get whatever, you, you're going to get what you're going to get. You know, which is like going to, you know, it's, you know, then that, it could be a good job or it could be absolutely terrible. It's like going to Las Vegas, you know, it's like gambling, frankly, you know. Uh, so that's why it's important to write this stuff down. Uh, if you are, have a practice and you have a business or you want to start a new business, write it down exactly what you want, you know. Uh, how much you want to, you know, whatever financial goals you have. Or, or whatever, you know, you want to be clear about that, you know. Uh, you want to be clear about your financial goals. You want to be clear about your, uh, I guess, joint ventures or people that you work with or your client base or your marketing plan. You, you know, all this stuff needs to be put down on paper because if it's all floating around up here, it's gonna. That's that's the number one cause of a lot of anxiety that people have is because they they have it all swimming around in their head rather than writing it down like a business plan or a marketing plan. You know, I don't know if I've been helpful for that to you, Karen, but I'm just babbling. <laughs> you know what I would really like? I would love to, to have more clients who um, don't want to use insurance. Well, that's an interesting, uh, the, that's, there's a vision. That's a beautiful, you know, so you write it down. Right. And you know how long I've tried to, I've been in practice a long time. Okay. And I've been taking insurance a long time. Uh, I think I had a belief that, um, well, you know, getting paid what you're worth, you know, insurance companies don't pay. Right. They just pay, they get, they, again, they, well, uh, basically, you know, they, so they 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 suck up all the profit that the practitioners <laughs> and the actual suppliers should be making, right? Right. So you know, I guess you know, I, I guess I felt hopeless, uh, and I just stopped. I just accepted it for decades. Well, it's security. It it's security. It's it's easy, or at least it appears easy. Of course, I. Well, I, you work. 
Yeah. Yeah. Filling out that paperwork. I have a friend of mine. She is the most successful physiotherapist in my area. You know, she's got a six months waiting list, and but her husband, who's semi retired, and I had to do her paperwork just for the insurance. It was a nightmare. Yeah. It was, I mean, this is just one woman who's a physiotherapist. She's the best in my area, you know, and it took her husband and me, two guys, to do her paperwork. And it was just horrendous, you know. Uh, so well, even though um, even though I feel hopeless about getting out of, even though I feel hopeless about getting clients to pay without using insurance. I deeply and completely Well, that's a, there you go. Well, there's your statement. There's your, you know. There's you, my statement. Right. I mean, again, but again, I would write it down as a goal. Yeah, I'm going to write it down. I have my little spiral notebook. Okay, write it down. I have a spiral notebook. Good for you. You get a gold star. Karen gets a gold star, guys. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Uh, yep, I love my little spiral notebook. I'm away for the weekend. Uh, I came, I drove up to my house in Pennsylvania, and I even brought my spiral notebook with me. Well, I would definitely write down, uh, you know, because obviously it's going to require a, a, a real strategy, a business plan, and a marketing, because you're going to, you know, if you're going to go after clients who either can afford to pay uh, direct, okay, or or, you know, marketing or uh, uh, coming up with a payment system or a plan that, you know, other clients can afford or, set, you know, structuring yourself that, uh, again, you become marketable, uh, that might be worth it to you. And it, But, again, it's going to take a little bit of organizing and strategizing and some thinking. And I, I would strongly recommend you put it on paper and just kind of work it through. And you'll probably come up with a solution that works for you. Yeah. But you know, you're right about, I think you said before it was uh, safe or secure. Yeah, I get referrals constantly, you know. Uh, I don't have to work hard for referrals. Well, I work, you know, again, myself, I, you know, I work, my security blanket was we're working for institutions. Mm-hmm. So I got a I got a paycheck. I work for an institute, or I work for a rehab, or I work for a center. Do you know what I mean? Or a clinic, or mm -hmm. and I work for a group, and then I got I got paid. You know, I got paid like a salary. Right. That was my security blanket. You know, uh, today considering what I do, uh, you know, I I just said no. I don't want to get. I, and I I'll tell you why. Because the organization, one of the places I worked. Uh, they got into incredible trouble because they didn't do their paperwork right on these third-party payments, you know. Mm -hmm. And they almost got run out of town. On, they almost got closed down. Mm. It was a big rehab. And they just didn't do their government paperwork, you know, according, you know, because, you know, as you said, it's all paperwork. And if you don't do your paperwork, it, it you get, you know, tilt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, again, it to me, it's just writing it down. The reason it's frightening is because you you know you need to put it on paper. You know, I, I right. smell and heard. Okay, all right. Now, Shayla, you still there? Yes. And you're interested in getting a, a, a new job, a different job, right? Oh, no, my lady. Oh. Yes. Okay, so what I would do is, I think what we're talking about is a vision, a vision tap, which is great. So I'll be yeah. discussing that with everybody, okay? So Karen's is struck, you have to, Karen has to set up a, a vision of a new type of client, okay, that can afford to, you know, and then you have to detail it of, you know, how you can present, you know, it's, it's going to take a bit of work because that's, it's not just a simple it's not that simple, okay? But it is, I would get everything that's swimming around in your head on paper. Cool. All your ideas, all your inspirations, all your, you know, and also all your doubts or concerns, okay? Yeah. All right. So that's what, I just get it on paper and then make that a, a mind movie or, you know, vision tap, okay? All right, back to Shayla. Shayla, I would suggest, uh, you know, again, uh, make a list of your past jobs. 
for a gratitude okay. tap, okay? And then also I would do a, a mind movie, okay, uh, a vision or a goal of your perfect job. Okay. And I would include, okay, the perfect job, I would include your perfect, your ideal income, okay, knowing exactly what you want to make. Because that's a mistake, again, you, when you go into a job, you have to know what you, you know, just sitting there and taking what they're going to give you is not a very empowered way to go in. You want to have mm -hmm. a clear idea what you're worth or, or what the market rate is for your, you know, for your service, okay? Uh, also, a clear idea of, uh, you want to also know about your availability. Are you available full-time, part-time, whatever, okay? And again, uh, you want you want to be aware of uh, how do I say it? Uh, you know, uh, kind of environment you want to work in, and also commuting is commuting a concern for you? Yeah. It is. So, so you want to write down. You know, you don't want to. You know, is it accessible by public transport, or can you drive? Do you only want to drive an hour, for thirty minutes, forty, whatever? I mean. You know, I've made some real mistakes. I, you know, I, I, I had a dream job. They paid me six figures, but I spent six hours of every day commuting to the city. Oh. Three hours to the city and three hours back. I didn't see daylight. <laughs> oh, dang. I didn't see daylight for a year and a half. Oh, wow. That's messed up. You know what I mean? Because I, I had to get up at five in the morning. And then mm -hmm. drive to Poughkeepsie, get on the train, go to Grand Central, get on a subway. It was a three-hour trip. Now, I was making six figures, but I, I was, you know, I, I had no life. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but again, I just wanted those. That's why you want to get us all in paper, clearly what you want, you know. Uh, but back to, uh, you know, and then uh, that becomes your mind movie. Also, if there's any concerns you have about the way it's managed, uh, you know, if you can also just say a, you know, well-managed with a sensitive, uh, you know, reason, you know, caring, professional, you know, management who behave properly and have good, you know, good ethical, moral, et cetera, values, et cetera. You know, you can have, or if there's something specific that you're concerned about, you, I would put that in your little movie, okay, in your criteria for a job. Okay. You know. And again, it, it, it you know, because it's just like going out on a date, you know. Uh, you know, cute and breathing doesn't do it on a date, does it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. You know? Uh, you know, uh, and it's the same with a job. You know, the check clears isn't enough, is it? Mm -mm. You know, so that that's where I'm going with the mind movie. So I think we got, an, I think we got enough here for uh, a, a vision tap or a mind movie tap. Okay, Karen, yeah. you good, uh, Shyla and Karen? Yep, yep. Yes. Yep. And again, I would just refine it. Uh, the th something like this, you refine it as you go. Karen, yours is a biggie, so it will probably take a time to grow it and develop it, you know. Mm -hmm. It may be good to break it up into little pieces, you know. Uh, I am absolutely certain you can find yourself a marketplace or, or a, you know. But again, you're going to have to... You're, redesign yourself a little bit or reinvent yourself slightly you know mm -hmm. uh i will say that you know my practice is completely direct pay mm -hmm. you know uh that's great you know but again it's uh it's it's different you know it's it's not like uh, getting that regular paycheck <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. You know, it's different. You have to earn every penny, every client you have to work for, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so let's uh, take the mind movie or the vision tap out for a test drive, okay? And uh, we'll just call it a success and abundance movie. When you're working on your own, I mean, you'd call it your perfect patient, Karen, right? Your per right. your perfect patient movie or your perfect direct pay pay whatever you want it's your movie so you call it whatever you want, Shayla you could call it the perfect job right, right, all right so rubbing your sore spot or tapping on your karate chop, again just repeat after me, even though I have my success in abundance movie, 
Even though I have my success and abundance moving. Okay, I choose to allow the universe. I choose to allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success and abundance in my life. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Excellent. Very good. So now just, we're going to do two more times. So even though I have my success in abundance movie... Even though I have my success and abundance moving. I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention. To allow the universe. To allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success and abundance in my life. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Excellent. So one more time. So even though I have my success in Abundance Movie. Even though I have my success in Abundance Movie. Today, I set a firm intention. Today, I set a firm intention. To allow the universe... To allow the universe to manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success and abundance in my life. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And I deeply and and completely love and accept and forgive myself. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to go top of the head. I choose to allow the universe. I choose to allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success and abundance in my life. I deserve to allow the universe. I deserve to allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success and abundance in my life. Okay, so I, I give myself permission to allow the universe. I give myself permission to allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success and abundance in my life. On it, I am willing to allow the universe. I am willing to allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. Under the nose, it's safe for me to allow the universe. It's safe for me to manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success and abundance in my life. Under the mouth, I have the power to allow the universe. I have the power to allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. Collarbone, I like the way it feels when I allow the universe. I like the way it feels when I allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success and abundance in my life. Okay, on the arm, it's easy for me to allow the universe. It's easy to allow the universe. To manifest success and abundance in my life. To manifest success abundance in Karate chop. So even though I have my success in abundance movie. Even though, even though I, have I have my success in abundance movie. Today I set a firm intention. Today I set a firm intention. To allow the universe. To allow the universe. To manifest success in abundance in my life. To manifest success in abundance in my life. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. In, in the, the best, best possible, possible way, way and for my greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And I deeply, and I deeply and completely love, and love accept, accept, and forgive, and forgive myself. myself. Beautiful. Take a deep breath. And I'll release. Okay. And now we're going to do something slightly differently. We're going to do the 
actual visualization after tapping, just for an experiment. When I work privately, when you have a private session, I actually ask you to do the vision before and after the tapping. But it's slightly different, but it's kind of interesting. So just close your eyes, rub your sore spot, okay, and just visualize, okay, Karen is the perfect client, okay, the perfect direct pay client, and Shayla, it's the perfect job. So run your movie, run your Success in Abundance movie, and when you're done, just say ready. Okay. 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 Good. Okay, like I said, it's interesting when we do it before and after. It's actually, it, 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 it is different. It's weird. But doing it after is good, too. And like I said, when I work with a client privately, I, I, we do it before and after. We do it twice. Because uh, that's actually the part that's important. It's imprinting on your subconscious this this mind movie, this, uh, this you know, field of intention. Okay, uh, and again, the secret to this is to is repetition, frequency repetition. If you do this on a regular basis, uh, you're going to see results more, better, faster. You're going to start seeing synchronicities. You're going to start seeing opportunities popping up out of the woodwork or out of the sidewalk. You know, uh, <clears throat> like I said, uh, it's it. You know, if you do it once a month, you got to wait. You do it. You know, once or twice a week, things are going to move faster for you. All right, so moving along, uh, we're going to do the uh, abundance tap. And uh, again, that's just a nice way to wrap up our little workshop. I want to thank you all for being here, Karen and Shayla and everybody else out there on YouTube and Facebook, etc. And if you enjoyed it, please, you know, share the love, click the love button and say something nice to me. On Facebook. Okay, so rubbing your sore spot or tapping on your karate chip, just repeat after me. Even though I have been allowing the universe. Even though I have been allowing the universe. To manifest some abundance in my life. To manifest some abundance in my life. I choose to allow the universe. I choose to allow the universe. To manifest even more abundance in my life. To manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely... And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Excellent. So even though I have been allowing the universe, even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance in my life, to manifest some abundance in my life, I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention to allow the universe to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Excellent. So even though I have been allowing the universe. Even though I have been allowing the universe. To manifest some abundance in my life. To manifest some abundance in my life. Today I set a firm intention. Today I set a firm intention to allow the universe to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Excellent. Let's go karate chop. Today I set a firm intention. Today I set a firm intention. Top of the head to allow the universe. To allow the universe. Eyebrow to manifest even more abundance in my life. To manifest even more abundance in my life. Okay, so I have even more abundance of love. More abundance of love. I even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of good health. Even more abundance of good health. Under the mouth, even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of creativity. Collarbone, even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of good friends. Good friends. Under the arm, even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Karate chop. So today I set a firm intention. Today I set a firm intention. Top of the head, to allow the universe. To allow the universe. Eyebrow, to manifest even more abundance in my life. To manifest even more abundance in my life. Side that even more abundance of happiness. 
Even more, more abundance, abundance of happiness. Oh, yeah, even more abundance of good health. Even more abundance of good health. Under the nose. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Oh, no, even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. <coughs> Very good. Collarbone, even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of good friends. Under the arm, even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even more abundance of all the Very good. We're on the home stretch. So today I set a firm intention. Today I set a firm intention. Top of the head to allow the universe to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To manifest even more abundance in my life. I bribe more abundance of love. Even more abundance of love. Sigh that. Even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of happiness. Under the eye. Even more abundance of good health. Even more abundance of health. Under the nose. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Under the mouth. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. Collarbone. Even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of good friends. Okay, under the arm. Even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even, Even more abundance, abundance, abundance of all the good, good, good things I need. Very good. Karate chop. And I deeply and completely. And I deeply and completely. Love, completely. accept, and forgive myself. Love, accept, and forgive myself. Beautiful. Take a deep breath. Hit our release. <sighs> Very cool. Excellent. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, thank you all for being on tonight. I uh, just want to, again, uh, we have our brunch club Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the Zoom room. Uh, also, it will be recorded on YouTube and Facebook, so you can catch up with it if you can't make it. Uh, also, again, a little bit of a commercial. If you need some private coaching, my rates are absurdly, ridiculously affordable. So uh, if, if you need some help structuring your visions or a little nudge in the right direction or just need a sounding board, I'm available, and my rates are absurd. Uh, so there you go, guys. But anyway, I love you all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. you. Have a wonderful, okay. happy uh, Sunday, and uh, again, a wonderful, uh, prosperous, abundant, love-filled week. And I'll see you guys again on this workshop next Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard, and again, 11 a.m. tomorrow, Monday through Saturday, uh, for our little brunch club. Bye, guys. I love all you. All right. Namaste. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.